fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Hi everyone, welcome to my Patreon series of L.A. Noir. Here we are, the setup. Wow, he doesn't look in a good way. A plucky lime is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. No need to open that door. The other one was open. Let's get a ringside seat. Well, that didn't go to plan. Looks like the limey came out on top. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert. You get out here right now. Step back. LAPD. Right, let's go and check this out. Obviously, it was a rigged fight. Somebody bitch, changed his mind. The door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple of hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh, isn't it a shame when cheaters don't prosper? He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money? Or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look yeah, around good... and see what you can find. Huh? Which is Hammond's locker? Well, we'll buy the kind of Start like, I'm not end. sure really what we're here to do. Got a newspaper. Alienist Fontaine. Look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say will never leave this room. That guy is shady as the guys in my old unit into doing something and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons for short term gain. We came home from China on the cool bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Like we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. 
I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the uh -huh. funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? <laughs> He's a slippery old thing, isn't he? Ooh, what was he doing there? Yeah, that guy is so many ways a crook. Yeah, like they're going to get any of that money returns. Yeah, we know how that works. We've got a boxing glove here and a ticket. Oh, no, it's not. It's a patched up. Um, not everything here is going to be relevant. Oh, okay. So you saying that's not relevant, Cole. Fine. Got some boots. Got a tie. No. Uh, some bags. Some other stuff. Do not s spit on the floor. Oh, what a lovely place this is. Is this one in, in consequential as well? Doesn't tell me anything. Oh well, it's not going to. It's a glove. Check the toilets. Always check the toilets. Oh, we've got some uh, some. Is that a bar of soap? I think it's supposed to be a bar of soap. Don't necessarily need that. Into the shower. Nope. That towel. I don't know. Don't know what that's doing there. It's going to get soaked. Um, can we do a couple of rounds against the punch bag? No, apparently not. All right, where's his locker then? Which one's his locker? Is it the hat up here? You can tell me which one. Which is his locker? I'll stand really close, uncomfortably so. Just stare at you. Oh no, look, it's me. He's getting freaked out. Okay, I'll move away. <laughs> He did a job on me. Right, where's his locker? Where's the Limey's locker? Why doesn't it have a Union Jack on it or something like that? There we go. Ooh. Harry, 18 to 1. There's Mervyn, 22 to 1. By R &I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. What do we got here? Some tape. Is that to bandage his hands up? I guess so. Uh, I think that's probably it. Oh, we got a telephone icon, so let's go on. Oh, the train is bugging off. Look at that. We've got a telephone icon, so let's go and ring that into. Um... Hello, you officer. Find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mick, dear. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh... Met his brother-in-law. <gasps> oh, that's right. We shot him, didn't we? You could tell from the sinister music. Oh, that's it. You know, you shot your family member. Back there. Don't mess with me. Where's this telephone? There it is. Hello, help me. Got a number. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Well, I'm sure the operator and the um, dispatch are the same person. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. Okay, Hotel Elmar. Welcome to the Hotel Elmar. Such a divey place, such a divey place. Is this your car, Roy? 
Should we take it? It looks pretty swish. It's got to be yours. Let's go. Hotel Elma. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and. This car cost me a fortune, you moron. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Sorry. Okay, Hotel El Mar, 9 14 p.m. Cheap rates, hot water. Room by the hour. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Right. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. I will. Q mini game. Hmm. El Mar Hotel. <laughs> okay, let's just open it. Open it, Cole. Okay. Right. So look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Um. Orson Welles. Winston Churchill. Oh wow, Clark Gable stayed here. Humphrey Bogart. Wow, this, all the stars come here. Bob Hope. <laughs> okay, even Winston. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Right. 207, 207. 207 right in front of us. Look at that. See anyone with the gold or the brass handle? Doors unlocked. We'll just walk straight in. Looks like he's had a broad up here. He's got something in the sink. Oh, it's a gum shield. Doesn't look like anything. It's a gum shield, I think. It might not be a gum shield. I saved the whole year for that car. What do we got? We got some uh, rubbish down here. The bin's been knocked over. Is that what he's? Oh, I don't know. Turn around to look at the bin. Oh, Western Union. He's got a telegram. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked <laughs> son of a bitch no chance. Yeah, let, let's 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 uh, cheer for the Brit. Uh, home soon, your boy done good, Albert. Well done, oh, well done, Albert. Well done. What we got here? Well, we got a ticket of something. That's some chockies. Let's have a look at it, Cole. Oh, almost. There we go. It's a movie ticket. Plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Matinee movie, 12 p.m. Okay. The flies are buzzing. Oh, it's probably those bananas. Does Albert have somebody special? Didn't see anyone in his corner in the fight. Well, they always leave the green ones. No one likes the green ones. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, we got another newspaper here with blood on it. No, it's not. It's turn and face where <laughs> cold, bloody hell. Insta heat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Parnell Suit Company? Um. Ah. Who? Candy Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Would these be the. Who's Candy? The new candy developments. Edwards, oh. The lady who filled out this coupon. Alright, let's go after his girl. Oh, more numbers. Like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Cigarettes, cigarette. Uh, anything exciting about them, Cole? Oh, yes, there is. Hang on, let me try and find the the moment of Wob Wobs. There we go. Ah, he's either or 
or he goes by a different name at weekends. He dresses differently. You know, you can't judge people these days. I suppose this is the 1940s or the 1950s. Yeah, I'm not sure. Late 40s anyway. So, um, hello, sir. Do you know the um? Are you just crack? Hello. This is nice, isn't it? Just chilling out together. The early Can we be bird friends. Gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Ah. What? That doesn't make sense. Hey, what do you mean you. the second mouse? Get... Oh, because it's a mouse trap. Oh, I get it. Okay, fine. Tell us I understand. Oh, where have you gone? You drunk, mister, you just cracked. This guy's just talking to his newspaper. Earl, Earl have you gone out here? I'm not even sure his name's Earl anymore. He's sitting in the car. Okay, we're off, are we? <laughs> Thanks, partner. <laughs> right, we're going... Let's go and check out Candy's address. Is that what we're going to do? Oh, Hotel Mar. Have we missed anything, I wonder? Let's head to Candy's anyway, because I think we've done the hotel. I'm not sure what else there was. Look at this. Perfect three-point turn. <laughs> right, let's head to Candy's. Ah, Candy's at a motel as well. Unfortunately, the, the pedestrians are not allowing us access. <laughs> They're running interference. We need to know which room is Candy's. Oh, we can't go up the stairs, it would seem. Hello, Hello there. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. Oh, okay. Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. Yeah. All these gentlemen callers. Oh, there you go. Here's the outside. Apartment seven, was it? Race you up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Give it up, bitch. Sounds like we're missing he's all the fun. Get in, the in there, fellas. You know where he's hiding. Now tell oh. me where he is before I cut you. Oh, okay. It's the manager. Like hitting women, do you? We had a goddamn This isn't going to end well for you, friend. Why can I? I can't any. I can't get a punch away. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Now kick him. Kick him when he's down. There we go. Don't let him up. That's it. That's better. Right. I had to grapple. Otherwise, Cole would only just do these little feather punches. That's ridiculous. Don't don't orchestrate the fight. That's terrible. Thankfully, the hat's back on. Right, let's check out this guy. Is he dead? Nah, I didn't kill him. Next time, buddy. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. I was the one who beat him up. <laughs> uh... Right, can we check out his, his pockets? Has he got anything? Ooh. Nasty weapon. All the can Italians we... carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Hmm. I wonder if we um keep that. I'm just wondering if I can manipulate it so we get a uh, a wub wub and have to look at it. Oh no, give it back to him. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's ask for trouble, shall we? That one. Ah, George Ray Carlo Wallace seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Hmm. Ah. Interesting. All right. Well, <laughs> step over. Oh no! Stop! Stop it, Cole! Stop it! Just go over here. Los Angeles. 
interstate coaches. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Ooh, Canard Line. The White Star. Sales from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? I hadn't Should finished I looking around the room, Cole. Um, whereabouts is Hammond? Track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a fibulation because you're lying, you, Andy. You were at his room. room. He came back after the fight, and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Um. Ah, there we go. Here we can. I think we found you, Candy. You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look. Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of this. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Uh, list of odds are covered. Is Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? That's a lie. Uh, it's a lie, but how can we prove that? Hmm. How can we prove that? Put makers odds. That's in Hammond's locker. Where did we find that? That was on the bedside table, wasn't it? But that doesn't necessarily mean that's hers. Uh, let's use an intuition point. Let's ask the community. Let's, I can't move the... Let's remove an answer then. Doubt or lie? Well, that's not any help at all. I don't know. I don't know. She's obviously lying, but I don't know what to um, suggest as the evidence. You gonna stand around here all day? A girl's got things to do. That's all we've got. He's lying. Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad oh. in the hotel room. The Feels five right. In his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Plan Are sleep sound. Yes, I'm going straight home. Okay. Um, now I don't actually know where her home is, so we know she's going to New. Well, she's got a ticket. Oh no, she hasn't. She's got a ticket on the bus. What she got actually? Let's have a look. She's got a bus ticket to Ohio. Oh no, it's just a postcard. It's not a ticket. Okay, so. She's got. We know this ship sails out of 
New York because Cole just said so. And New York and I, Ohio, even with my terrible American geography, is completely too worlds apart. So she's not telling the truth. We're gonna have to doubt her, I think. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Oh, it's a, I can feel a car chase coming you on. press charges against our Carol? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Yeah, told you. Car chase coming up. I live in Motel. 4.08 p.m. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Oh, what? I'm going to have to walk? Oh, yeah. She won't notice that at all. Uh, da, 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 dum -de dum 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 Oh, look, an airplane. <whistles> Lovely day, isn't it? The icon will flash red if you are slipping too far behind, and fade if you are something something. Taff, you need to read quicker. Let's go! Get up! Cole, get up! Alright. What? With the cover of this wall. No, Cole! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, what are you doing to me, man? Gonna look around the corner any seconds. You don't see me. You don't see me, right? You can't see me. Okay, she's going. Let's go. Cole, go, go, Cole, go, go. Oh. I'm gonna go hide behind the trees, do I? Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Let's go to the shoe shine. Your controls all over the place, Cole. Move in. I risk losing the trail. Okay, we're gonna have to hide behind this. Don't go anywhere, sir. I need you to go past that building, and then we're gonna use the. Uh... Ah! Too much slack. It's hiding the pampas grass. We'll get cut to shreds, but... We don't look suspicious at all. Lady, stop running interference. Get, get out of the way! I'm hiding behind this column. She won't be able to see me. Damn, she's picking a route which is very challenging. We've got like the war, war memorial or whatever that is in, the, in that um, plaza. Move in. At risk losing the trail. Okay, cool. I hear you. Right, she's gone around that corner. We'll quickly run to the edge of this building. There she is. Oh crap. Crap. She's 
going over to the red house. Stop looking at me, people. Make it suspicious. She's gone over there. Oh, quick. Let's hop over the fence. Get to this bay window. Evening, sir. Just going to lean up against your car for a moment, if that's okay. Police, official police business. She going? Over the box fence, box hedge, whatever. Oh, There's not much cover here. I suppose we get to those bins. Bins for cover. Ah uh. oh, no! These control systems are so flunky. Okay, we'll pick it up from the bins. Apparently she's right. Oh, there she is. Okay, I'm glad we didn't have to start again. Move in. Shut up, Cole. She stops here. That's what did us last time. Right, there we go. Get off the wall, Cole, get off the wall. Hello, good day, good sirs. Don't worry about me. Official police business. A fireproof warehouse, are you sure? Oh, those pallets don't look particularly hidey. We're going to have to go for it. Okay, she's gone. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Super cop. Super cop. Oh, we made it. Thrifty liquor. Stop giving me odd looks, everyone. <laughs> Why did he just get out of the car? Why did I have to go in the car to get out of the car? I thought she went to the thrifty liquor. The jewellers? Where's the bookmakers then? Is this the bookmakers? Because the windows are all boarded up. Or, you know, co copied up. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. She claimed me out. Nice. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight, you got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Yeah. She did all that in 20 seconds. Wow. She is one productive lady. Oh, it's just... trick from the Marines. Trick from when you were a kid. This is your first secret code as a kid, isn't it? Everyone did this, surely. Examiner, drugstore, 1487, Ivar, Biggin? No, Avenue. <laughs> My child at heart. Hollywood? Hollywood. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. I've done enough colouring in for the day, it would seem. Check out back here. Yeah, so she got 36... 
So three thousand six hundred dollars into that suitcase, then made a phone call. Then, in the time it took us to get into the car, say, "Is it bookmakers?" and get out of the car, she did that bloody well. Right, what are we doing? The car symbols showing. Let's have a look. Um, examine the drugstore, I suppose. Let's take the truck. We haven't driven a truck yet. Official police business. We've got oil drums in the back. Brilliant. <laughs> He's not happy. Where is he? Ray, where are you? Oh god, I'm gonna have to go around to come pick him up. Go on, get in the truck. This is this is our disguise, Ray. Come on. Watch out, official police deliveries. Excuse me, hot stuff coming through. Oh, that's black and white. What's oh, somebody gone in the back of it? Oh, somebody's gone. Somebody's gone into the back of your car. <laughs> well, sorry to tell you about this. I'm sure it's fine. All right, let's go. And Candy is picking up the winnings. The Examiner Drugstore. Bookmaker's office, 5.19 p.m. That's that cop. That's that cop. Indeed it is. Detectives Phelps and Earl. LAP. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long wow. ago did you leave? Maybe five minutes. Call the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. The yeah, you, you should give up smoking, pal. Doesn't sound like your throat's going to last much longer. Oh, what's that on the on the radio? Yellow cap. Yellow cap. We need to get after her fast. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round for the pool. Do you have the number of the yes. cab? That was an awkward silence, wasn't it? Thanks. <laughs> well, we going to chase the cab, do we? Playing around. Get Mervin to give us an address on Ray's place. Well, you could do that. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervin. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. <laughs> Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Right. So, should we take the truck? Where's the truck? There's the truck. Don't worry, it's still here. Fine. But if the skipper sees us driving around, it's dead. <laughs> Hello, Mervyn. It's fine. We're incognito. Oh, get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. What's the matter? You gotta be kidding me. Get in! There we go. Oh, we've missed the lights now. No, we haven't actually. Let's go. <laughs> I tell a lie. Right. Off we go. There's the yellow cab. If we've got to chase the yellow cab, we may need a faster vehicle. Oh! Thankfully, our transforming truck has gone into Earl's car she's not in the car don't get too close she must be inside we're on the move again Cole after her don't lose that cab get in 
Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Yep, it would be. But don't worry. Am I too close? How many stops is she gonna make? Too close, Phelps. Way too close. Oh, music's getting dramatic. We'll just wait here. They're going around in circles. They must know they've been followed. Ah! Oh, bloody hell. Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was going to win. I love the little tense music. It's it's turning left. Oh, crikey. This is a bit of, um, <coughs> it's a bit of uh, do or die, isn't it? That kind of junction. Turning. No, you're turning the other way, bizarrely. Yeah, we just done a circle. You got a pretty fun idea of, of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Oh no, well, these these cars are just trying to run interference for them. She's not fun. Oh my God, what's wrong with these drivers? Ah. Okay, it's not the most exciting car chase in the world. Oops. Sorry! Oh god, it's so sensitive. You really should... If you're going to play this game, play it with the controller. On the keyboard, it's just far too sensitive. Oh, is the boost stop? She's off to the boost. That <laughs> bag is heavy. All that money she's got. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Oh, not more tailing. Where is she? There she is. Oh, there's a newspaper there. Look. Let's go and sit down. This guy's got a screw loose. Where is she? There she is. The early bird gets the worm. So yeah. It's the cheese guy again. Oh, it's shooty action. Oh. That doesn't look good. Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <laughs> Just Don't try and sit still, Candy. Who shot pay. you? Was it Albert? Car. I don't... Now she's gone. Away. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. I reckon that was Mickey Cohen, the gangsters boys. Oh, wait, she's got the gun. Okay, she so had a gun. We can go to a. Well, we can go to a. If we get the license number or the number of it, chassis number. What would you call it on the gun? VIN number, something like that. Ah, oh, there we go. I knew there must have been something on there. Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. Okay. That's the other half of the theater ticket. The Egyptian theater.
So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. The theater. Okay, let's go to the theater then. Let's go and watch a movie. Oh, <laughs> this place cleared out. Pre oh, let's take a bus. Come on, let's do this. Come on, please say we can. Please say we can. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, sad face. Okay, there's one more. Oh, there's a couple more bosses. Please, please. One of these be open. Oh. Oh. I've always wanted to be a bus driver. I only joined the police because I couldn't make it as a bus driver. Oh, we have to go and find a car. Come on then, let's go and get a car. There's a car over here. This one looks quite nice as well. Oh, we've got a choice. Get, can we not get over this tiny little fence? Uh, let's take this one. I want to drive. Oh, God, the, the controls on this are just a little bit clunky these days. By today's standards. Right, we're going to the Egyptian theatre then. Okay, the Egyptian theatre. 9.05pm. Oh, something's gone down. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. I reckon it's the manager. He had the, uh, he, got the money too? he had the knife, didn't he? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Where's the way in? Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right, he's a right Cockney gazer, isn't he? All right. I went slightly uh, West Country then. This is quite a nice place. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best, kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. Knew it was him. Knew it was him. The receptionist said he was a shady character. <laughs> um, this is very slow and intense. We've Turn the lights off, boys. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Somebody's got a Tommy gun. Oh, you, you take the Tommy gun. Who's got the Tommy gun? You okay? Oh, he's up on the balcony behind us. Throw out the guns. You're clear, go. It's alright, you can't see me down here. I can shoot his hand. 
Oh, I can't. You're covered, Joe. Where are you? Oh. Stay in cover. My hat's gone. Oh wait. Where did he come from? I love that Tommy gun though. Cog. Oh. Didn't need the Tommy gun after all. It's time to come out now, Hammond! Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. You scan your sales from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Yay! The Brit survives. Fuck you! <laughs> that English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! He did nothing wrong. Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and uh, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Yay! Good work, gentlemen. Thank you. The Brits have survived. We pulled ranks. <laughs> Got one over the crooked American gangsters. Love it. Love it. The setup. Clues found. Eleven of eleven. Questions correct. Three of three. Incy bincy wincy bit of vehicle damage. A touch of city damage into the mix. Five star case closed though. Nice, nice. So the setup has been complete. That wasn't, you know, only one interview in that. That's probably the least chatty series there's been. There's a lot of following and tailing and um, little mini games in this case, but that was, it was good fun nonetheless. That has been the setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe and all that kind of jazz. And thanks again to all my lovely Patreons who were. Uh, who support me through thick and thin. I really do appreciate your support. So this is for you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.